Hey guys, what is up? So today is Wednesday. It is 7.50 a.m. I look like crap. What's new? Um, I decided today I was going to be hopefully productive. Um, so I decided I would vlog because honestly, vlogging makes me 10 times more productive because I'm like, if I say that I'm gonna do something to like the camera, I'm gonna have to do it. So, um, yeah, yesterday I had my bi-weekly exam. Um, just another bi-weekly exam that kicked my butt. Um, it's just really honestly quite hard to like, not hard to study. I feel like that's not like the right thing to say, but um, it's just there's so much content. Um, so we have, I've said this a million times, so I'm not going to like repeat it too much, but, um, my study guides are like 300, 400 pages for a test and all of our tests are cumulative. So it's just like a lot. So right now I just got a file folder set. I actually got it like a couple days ago, not a couple days ago, like literally, um, like a week ago or like two weeks ago. I don't know, time has flown by. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take all of my notes out and just divide them right now by exams um, just to like clear out this folder because um, it's crazy right now. And what I do when I'm like rewriting my notes is I do write like exam four or you know, whatever at the top of them so that I can organize them. So I'm just gonna separate them and then I will check in. I have, obviously because I had that exam this week, um, I wasn't really doing anything around the house like this past week and I have my parents coming. I think Brennan's parents are coming this weekend. So I would just like my house to not look crazy. So. We have a lot to do today. Now check back in once I'm done sorting. Okay, so I organized them by class and I just stuck them in here. Mind you, this is just like, I feel like I re rewrite like the most important stuff and sometimes I don't have enough time to rewrite the notes because I've procrastinated so much. So like exam two, I don't think I rewrote that much. Looks like I didn't for exam three either, but exam four, which was the one I just took, I definitely did. Um, yeah, so I just got a file folder because we do have finals. It is all of our classes in one test yet again, and it is cumul cumulative. Um, so yeah, this is my messy, messy, messy <laughs> beauty room. But I did want to show you because there has been progress. Um, not sure if you guys would notice the progress because I probably haven't shown you guys too much of this, but I did put some hats on the wall. And in here, I started to put together, that's just like a whole bunch of like t-shirts I need to go through, put some purses up there um, because I realized purses shouldn't be in the sun. Um, obviously my filming stuff is over here. And yeah, and I put these two shelves in right now. I made them myself. Um, I got them cut. I sanded them. I stained them. I put polyurethane on them. And I hung them all by myself with a stud finder and a um, screwdriver. I'm pretty proud of myself. And yeah, I have two up. I still have two right here. Um, we're independent, huh, Gracie? <laughs> but I think it looks so nice. Um, I don't know if uh and then obviously my desk right there don't judge me on the messiness it's coming together slowly but um i don't know if you guys remember in my old place um if you've been watching me since then i had those like white shelves from like target um you can i think you can get them at ikea too but i got the really cheap ones from target like Target has two kinds, the really cheap ones that are like 20 bucks and then they have like the little nicer ones that are like 30, 40. And I have the cheap ones and they were falling apart after moving and I was like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. You know, I really just want to make my own shelves. Koopy. <laughs> this boy. Anyways, um, I have a class now at 8.30. This one is just like, Mm, one of those classes I feel like they just make you take for no reason. Um, I don't even know what this class is called because I don't get tested on this class, but 
yet I have to sit through it. So, <laughs> we're gonna go sit through that and then I need to check if I have a break. I can never remember my class times. I just remember like pretty much when they start and when they end and then I have to keep looking it up. But then we will figure out what we're gonna do after the class once I figure out when the class ends. Does that make sense? Oh. And then one last thing I wanted to mention is if you guys watched my last vlog, I um, cleaned those white chairs and I bought those white chairs for like $130, right? I bought them. I don't even remember. It was probably probably Overstock or something like that with the coupon. So they might have even been cheaper than that. And I cleaned them with that carpet cleaner and I sold them for $100. So I thought that was really a really good um what am I saying? I thought I did good. Okay, I'm gonna name my class now. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my first two classes. Still don't know what the name of my first class is. I think it's just like a welcome to pharmacy class, but I also feel like I have three of those. But anyways, so I finished that one and then I had my medical chemistry class. That one, learned a lot of stuff today, so I'm gonna have to rewrite those notes later. Um, and now I'm going to my BSI class. I'm going to it, clicking on the Zoom. Um, my BSI class, BSI is basically, I think it just stands for like integrated biology stuff. But basically what it is, is it is a physiology on crack. <laughs> it's like, um, hold on, I'm joining and I don't want them to hear me talking. That would be Awesome, I'm muted. So, um, basically, it's a <laughs> physiology on crack. I love physiology. Um, I loved it when I took it, um, wow, like six years ago. Um, I loved my pathophysiology, just anything about like body functions like that, love it. So I like this class, but it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just trying to find the notes for this class. Um, and yeah, we're going to start this class. I didn't get to eat lunch, but I did go to get Starbucks during my, I had like a 30 minute break and I went to go get Starbucks. My drink, if you're curious, is a grande Americano. Today I felt bougie, so I got one pump of white mocha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I got one pump of white mocha. Um, in Americano, it's just three shots of espresso and water, so I treated myself with that one pop of white mocha. Um, honestly, I needed it because I was falling asleep during that last class. Okay, so today we're learning about free radicals, and we're actually learning about free radicals all week. Who would have thought that free radicals would have been so complicated? Not I, you know? Um, but I'm sure you guys don't care about free radicals, so I'm gonna get my class now. So if you guys are curious, um, this is literally what my lectures look like. Um, that is a campus that's not actually my campus. Um, it's sort of confusing, but there's two campuses that are in my same pharmacy class. And then this is one room, and then there's another room that the professor is in right here, so... If that showed my school name, I will probably blur it out. And it definitely did, but yeah. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Of course we can't hear her because she is muted. That is seriously one of the worst parts of Zoom is when she starts saying important things and she doesn't know that we can't hear her. <laughs> so I'm just missing all the stuff that she's saying. And she has like a little post-it note, so it's probably important. Love that. Dr. Naylor, we can't hear you. <laughs> Awkward. Oh my gosh, she didn't even have her microphone on. Like it wasn't even on her. It's like it wasn't like it was turned off. She just didn't have it on her body. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I need you guys to remind me when I'm forgetting things. Okay, so the first thing I said is there's no class Same, tomorrow. during We're the exam. We're going to everything we need to today. Um, now it's going to be all this free radical stuff. Um, so again, no class tomorrow. 
on Friday, Dr. Wright will start lecturing on a new topic, um, and then we'll just move forward from there. I'll write that down. Um, on okay. exam five, there will be 12 questions from me um, and 20 questions from Dr. Wright. Those 12 questions will be from this free radical stuff, and then also from the starvation scenario. Okay, so you'll need to review that stuff. Uh, make sure that if you're okay, shaking on it, which I think a lot of you are. Okay, so my classes are done. So now I decided I need a study break. So among the many list of things that I need to do um, today as well as before Friday is I need to go to Goodwill. Um, I need to drop off some things that I have in my garage. And I also want to see if they have any more um, wicker like baskets or like rattan baskets for my basket wall that's in my dining room. It's like halfway done. I still need like six or seven more baskets, but now that I know that I can stain them and the stain will stain it, <laughs> it's not dumb, but now that I know that, I think I can probably hopefully fill it up a bit faster. So that's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm going to go in the garage and just put together some things that I wanna get rid of. I'm gonna bring to Goodwill. If you don't know, you can get a tax write-off at Goodwill, so. I do try to sell the things on Facebook Marketplace first, and then what doesn't sell, I will bring to Goodwill. So we try to make money from it first, and then after that, we're okay with the tax write-off. So yeah, I will show you guys the process of awful lighting, of um, putting some things together to give away. Okay. So this is what my garage <laughs> looks like right now. If you saw it before or you've been to my house, you know that this looks so much better. There were boxes all in the middle here, but now it is a bit more empty and I'm really excited. It's starting to actually be able to have a car parked in it. Um, but yeah, there's still a bunch of things that are being sent out. I sold a bunch of my um, textbooks. My dog brought bones from the yard. Um, I don't think they're human, but he kept bringing them and I don't know what to do with them. So there they are. But yeah, I'm going to put together a box to bring to Goodwill right now. The most unflattering angle of my life. Okay, so fortunately for me, I live literally, I wanna say it's probably like half a mile away from a Goodwill, which is not that far. So I just got two boxes, so my back seats are filled with two boxes. Um, I put a bunch of DVDs in there, a bunch of clothes, some um, decor, just things that like I really don't have time to sell and probably wouldn't get that much money for it anyways. So it is just in my best interest to donate them. Also, I don't even have a DVD player anymore. I was like, some of those CDs like I want to watch, um, but I just, I really don't have a DVD player and everything's available now like online. So yeah, I'm like, it's just time to get rid of them. I don't need to have like all of this shit just lying around, you know, being like, maybe one day I'll have a DVD player and I can watch it, you know? I just, I'm at a stage where I just want everything out. So yeah, on the way to Goodwill and once I drop it off, cause there's like a little drive through that you have to go to to drop it off, I am going to go inside and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping they at least have one basket. It's convenient that this Goodwill is so close. Um, a, because I'm not paying more than like $2 for a basket to be hung on the wall. Um, and B, because people really like their wicker baskets and they tend to go pretty fast. So yeah, I'm gonna drop this off and then I will catch up with you guys probably after I go inside the Goodwill. Um, yeah. Um, update you guys. I put this little plant here. I like it. I think it's really cute. Okay, so one of the things I got from this the thrift store is this wicker basket. Now, I thought this was perfect for this plant because it's an Ikea plant. And it just has the regular, like, black um, plant thing. Oh my gosh, what is it? Like, planter thing? I don't know. And I thought this would look cute. 
It was $1.99 and I was looking to buy one. So, I mean, I'd rather pay $1 than like 10 or whatever, but I think that looks a lot better. I do plan on getting like a little rug right there or something, but I think that looks really cute. I might even spray paint it black. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to spray paint it black just because I do like how the black looked before. I just didn't like the actual like planter. Also, I think I might cut off those handles, but I'm just going to live with it for now and see what I want to do with it, you know? All right. We got to study, Gracie. We got to study, Denny's. That's my phone. Where's my phone? Oh, well. So, yeah. So now that I did that, whoa, um, <laughs> dogs are going crazy. I'm going to rewrite my compounding notes. Um, that is my like eight credit hour class or whatever. Um, I'm gonna rewrite my compounding notes and then I'm gonna do something productive around the house and then switch and sort of go back and forth. There's this thing called the 40-20 rule, which is pretty much where you do 40 minutes of studying and then 20 minutes of something else. And I think that's a good idea, but I typically just do like activity back and forth sort of thing. So it's not so much about the time. It's more about just like the activity and getting my mind, you know, switching back and forth, if that makes sense. And so I don't get so bored with doing one thing. But I just want to quickly show you before I do that, um, the other two things I got from the thrift store. So I got this wicker basket. I think this is going to go perfect. I'm going to put it on the wall like this on the basket wall, but I think I might stain this i do have a lighter color stain that i might try to stain this with so we'll see and then i got this cute box um this was 3.99 and i do want to start doing other videos on my channel like the diys that i'm doing and stuff so i'm thinking i might diy this i love this like this is so pretty but i'm thinking i could spray paint this part like black and have it as like a cute little decoration piece. Um, I don't know if I said it was $3.99, but yeah, it was $3.99. The hardware is really nice. The interior is beautiful. It came with this like random magazine that I'm probably just gonna throw out to be honest. Um, the only thing was that, what the heck? Oh, yeah, there's handles on the side. Um, struggling. Was it this side? No, it was this side had like a little crack in it but I have wood filler, so I'm thinking I could fill it with wood, wood filler, and then when I refinish these sides, because I'm not a fan of this color really, um, I can fix that. So I think this is so cute. Yeah, so I'm gonna go study now. Okay, so update, I finished doing, rewriting my notes. Um, now I was trying to put this last two by four on the table. I went ahead and cut it myself. And then I drilled some holes, um, the drill bit got stuck, but I figured out how to get it out. And then my screw, my drill died right as I was putting in that last one. So yeah, we're charging that right now. So hopefully I can get that screw in farther. This table on the bottom is not perfect. It's not at all, but I know if I did it again, it would be so much better. This table cost me probably around $100, including stains, screws, um everything and you would literally buy a table like this oh and the bench for like five or six hundred dollars maybe even more so for my first time i'm okay with it looking like you know sort of mediocre the hundred dollar table will probably last me i'm hoping like three or four years um but yeah so once that is done charging i'm gonna flip this bad boy over and then I'm gonna put some wood filler in it, but while I'm waiting for <laughs> the battery to charge a little bit, I'm gonna do, or I'm gonna fold my laundry. What the heck? I just feel like, I mean, obviously when I had my townhouse, I was still like doing thing co things constantly, but um, definitely like being back in a house gives you like a lot more things that need to get done, especially because like I actually care about this place, you know, like I'm not renting it. Um, and like I can actually do things to it if that makes sense and plus it's bigger um, and classes are online so I'm here a lot more and I think about things a lot more but 
yeah, I just feel like I constantly have things to do. Obviously, I still haven't unpacked and I've lived here for over a month now. Yeah, it's like literally a month now, <laughs> um, which is crazy to me um, that I still have boxes in the garage and people ask me like, does that bother you that you still have boxes? <laughs> yes, it does. It does greatly. But I have big furniture that like I need people or like, you know, I need people to help me bring it up and like there's just so many other things that I'm doing. Like because the only time I would probably have time to do that or want to do it is during the weekend and we've been like doing our fence or, you know, out of town or just like doing other things. So it's just been put on the back burner. So I'm just hoping to get it done in a reasonable time. This whole load of laundry I had to wash. They were clean when I packed it, but um, long story short, my um, my townhouse didn't catch on fire, but something inside of it caught on fire, so the whole place was smoky. Um, and so a couple of the boxes smell like actual smoke, um, and I don't like that smell, especially because what caught on fire was um, plasticky, so it's like a really bad smoke smell, so I'm rewashing everything. So anyways, um, I will check back in, hopefully once I flip this table over and start putting wood filler in. <sighs> Let's hope for the best, because it's gonna drive me nuts if I can't get this last screw in. Okay, hey guys, um, it's the next morning. I am still in the same t-shirt. I did change yesterday, uh, but this was the one that I found on the floor this morning, and I know it's not dirty. Anyways, I don't have to explain myself, but, so it is 7.44 a.m., and I got up, I fed the dogs, did my hair. I never do my hair in the morning like that. I usually wait um, until, like, afternoon, so I'm impressed I did that. Um, I have to, today's like a weird day. Um, I didn't get to finish vlogging yesterday because Brennan came over and um, we ended up just making food and having a fire. So I didn't really want to um, vlog that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you what I finished. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the, ow. I'm gonna show you the table that I did. I ended up having to go to, I ended up having to go to Home Depot to get more wood filler because the amount that I had just wasn't enough. So this is what it looks like right now. I love the grooves of the table. Let me turn on the light. There. I love the grooves of the table, so I didn't want to fill it with wood filler enough to be like even. I still wanted it to be um, like with grooves in it, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and you can tell that I had to get two different kinds because the stainable wood stainer that Home Depot had was different than the one that I had. But I'm hoping that the stain is dark enough because that's how dark the stain is. So I'm hoping that because they're both stainable, it's not gonna matter. But yeah, um, so I put the wood filler in and I filled some gaps in the table as well, just so that crumbs can't get through, but that you can still see the groups. So today, I'm hoping to sand it all and get the first stain on the table. So that's what I'm hoping. Uh, I'm probably not gonna vlog that, but I just wanted to end this vlog showing you guys that. Um, right now I'm about to set up a meeting for me and four of my other classmates. We're supposed to meet to basically go over a patient situation and you know, you're given like all their problems, their symptoms, their past history, their current medications, and we're supposed to, you know, give like a therapeutic consult and like what we, like what drugs we think they should take and like how often the dosage forms, etc. Um, but the problem is, so I have five people in the group and I'm usually the one that's like, you know, we're meeting at this time. Is that okay with you guys? Blah, blah, blah. I'm coordinating it. And this one guy hasn't come to any of the meetings except for the first one. So he hasn't done any of the projects that we're turning in. And I'm at sort of like a dilemma right now because at first I thought he like dropped out. And that's why I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want like say anything to him personally because I didn't want him to get in trouble. <laughs> 
and I went to lab on Monday and everyone wears like our white coats and then um, a name tag and I freaking saw him and the reason I didn't recognize him for the first time is obviously we're wearing masks when we're in person and I saw him and I'm like okay dude so you're just not showing up so yeah that's the dilemma I'm going through with right now if he doesn't show up today I'm gonna try to talk to the other group members about it and sort of come to a consensus so yeah I just wanted to pop in here and finish off the vlog um I know my life is semi-boring whenever I vlog just because I have school and I'm trying to get my house together but hopefully this is just something easy that you can watch I enjoy watching things like this and having it on in the background when I'm cleaning so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you guys are and until next time bye